Witam was wszystkich bardzo serdecznie. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. My name is Mystical and today I'm bringing you a video on installing unknown sources apps or unofficial applications, also known as APK files, on the Quest without having the need to use a PC or even enable developer options. This is actually something you guys brought up in the previous video. So, as usual, you have chapters down below to skip to any specific part of this video that you are most interested in. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So, the way we're actually going to do this is we're going to use an app called Mobile VR Station. This is actually an application that we used in the past. However, Meta broke it with updates and things have changed. So, here I am bringing you guys an updated tutorial. If Meta doesn't break this in future updates, you're actually going to be able to install unofficial apps using nothing but your quest. With this, you will be able to install something like the SideQuest APK, meaning that you will not need a computer to install SideQuest, which is the unofficial store for the quest, or you can even get QuestCraft installed with it, which is where people were pointing it out in the previous video. So yeah, very excited for this one. Really hope it works. Let's jump back into the main studio and uh, let me show you guys how this is done. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is obviously get your hands on Mobile VR Station. Super simple, just open up the Horizon Store and in there, search for Mobile VR Station. You should be able to download the application just like that. Now, I do remember this app being paid in the past and it does actually mention something about being paid inside the application once you launch it, but it never asked me to pay for anything. So either I bought it in the past or it's not paid anymore. Either way, I'd love to tell you the price here. However, uh, I just can't find it. This app is of course not just useful for installing APK files. It's also been used by thousands of people on the quest for modding their current games. So in case you want a video on that, we might make one in the future. But for today, we're simply going to focus on actually installing APKs. So once Mobile VR Station is downloaded, launch it and grant it access to your files. Then what you want to do is you want to press at the very bottom on configuration wizard, then show all options. And after that, configure manage all files. After you're in that menu, press on open all files. Now what this is actually going to do, and this is really smart of them for doing it this way, is it's going to launch the Android Files app. The Files app that comes pre-installed on every single Android device since uh, essentially forever. This is like a built-in Android application that I don't really think you can remove from Android itself. So what Mobile VR Station is doing here is they're utilizing the core aspects of Android, which I think is really, really cool. And essentially, it's going to launch that app in which you will be able to browse through your downloads. And of course, here, if you have any APKs, you can install them. Now, in case for whatever reason, you cannot see that files app show up do make sure to press your meta button and make sure it hasn't launched in the background, as sometimes these kinds of activities might just not be brought to the foreground. That is what happened to me the first few times I tried this. Talking about that, we don't really have any new APKs, so let's fire up the browser and let me show you how to download a few of the most popular ones. One of the first things I highly recommend you guys do is you get yourself Activity Launcher. Activity Launcher is going to allow you to launch the actual Android settings menu, which for some reason doesn't show up on recordings, but in here you will be able to manage your Android apps as well as other standard Android settings that are normally hidden on Quest. Super handy, highly recommend you get yourself Activity Launcher just to be able to do this in the future. But another really handy thing that I highly recommend you download is SideQuest. You can actually get the APK for SideQuest VR app on their GitHub. So I will have a link to that, obviously, down below. And once you get that APK, you can go back to that downloads folder inside the files app and install SideQuest, after which you will have access to hundreds, if not thousands, of unofficial apps that would normally be unavailable to you through the standard meta store. For example, Questcraft. Installing apps through SideQuest, in case that is something you want to do and want a tutorial on it, is super simple. You just press on the app you want to install, press sideload, and even though it's not a sideload, the app knows it's installed on a Quest. So it's going to download the app and then install it on the device that you're using it on. This isn't like the SideQuest application that you download from the Play Store where you have to connect a device through USB. One of our lights just died. Okay, welcome to the void. Do also make sure to grant SideQuest 
or any other app that you're using for installing these APKs access to install from unknown sources. This is a pop-up that will show up the very first time you are installing apps through any unknown source. So just tick it and you're good to go. Another cool little tip about SideQuest on your Quest itself is the fact that you can get custom home environments. So in case that's something you want to do, there should be hundreds for you to scroll through here inside SideQuest to give your quest a little bit more personality and sort of welcome you into the world of customization. Now, if you don't want to use SideQuest, you can also get the QuestCraft APK through GitHub and install it through the downloads folder, just like you did with SideQuest, which is of course the easiest way to do it. But if you don't want to use that, you do have that method of just getting the APK file. And of course, I believe that this is actually what most of you are going to want to use this for. As well as of course, the other handy things you can get like Spotify and Discord, all of those APKs will be available to you. Now, do make sure that you're downloading from a credible source. I don't want to say anything here in case any of the websites that I personally use aren't actually credible. So don't go off of anything I'm saying here, but I personally use things like APK Pure and APK Mirror, and I'm just praying that they are credible. So if people don't think they're credible, let me know down below. Now, if you do want to dabble a little bit more into the world of uh, 2D applications on Quest, you might also want to get yourself a third party app store, but not meant for VR like SideQuest is, instead you could get yourself one meant for Android in general. Now, I don't want to recommend any app stores here simply because there's just a ton of them that would potentially just not be very good, you know? So I'll leave some probably pinned comments or hearted comments down below from people that maybe have better experiences than I do here. I know, for example, about F-Droid, which will allow you to install a bunch of utilities like Termux and things like that in case you want to do maybe a little bit more quest modding or something along the realms of Android modding on your Quest. I actually use this one quite a bit. But then of course you've got other third-party app stores like Aptoid for example, which I've heard about a ton, but I again cannot tell you whether it is credible or not. It's just something that keeps popping up when I search up for third-party app stores. But again, yeah, pretty cool. A ton of options for you here. And also something we might have an episode on in the near future, Android emulators on Quest. Something I can highly recommend to you guys. It just, it's, it's a whole new New experience. It is absolutely fantastic. In case you guys want to do PSP emulation or something like that, works brilliantly on Quest. And as a matter of fact, you could probably have seen me playing with those emulators in the past in previous videos. Once any unofficial or third-party application is installed, whether it's through SideQuest or through the Files app, you will find it under the Unknown Sources tab, inside your navigator or your old Quest app drawer. And they should all be listed there, whether they're 2D applications like Spotify or Discord, or whether they are 3D applications and virtual reality games and apps. So anything that you install unofficially will be there. So there you guys go. That is how simple it is to install unofficial APK files on your Quest without developer mode and without using a PC or ADB of any sorts. Really, really cool. So happy that an application like Mobile VR Station exists and hopefully this will help you guys out into the outro. So there you guys go. Uh, for those of you that are wondering what on earth is happening here, why we were here for the intro and why we're here for the outro, there's no reason for it. Um, I'm just getting a little bit creative. I wanted to get a little bit of a different shot, you know? I uh, hope you guys don't mind. If you liked this video, please do leave a like. If disliked it, I guess this button works too. But do let me know why down below. If you're not yet part of our community, check out our Discord and our Reddit down below where I wanna see you posting your spice memes. And as usual, thank you so much to the Patreons. You guys are amazing. You are what makes these videos possible. So thank you, much love, and thank you in case you're just watching or supporting me in any way. As usual, if you wanna be able to find out your content coming up on the channel, make sure you smack that subscribe button with you for a ding my bell. It's again next video. Peace. Okay, I must say the Z Flip actually did quite well here. This is not Chernobyl for those of you that decided it was actually Chernobyl on the Discord. I lied. I know. Wow, YouTuber lied. This is an electric plant owned by Tauron. I just really like this location. I think it's it's very photographic. This is also where like most of the car meets are. I'm gonna try find more spots like this for more intros and outros.